amazing to be back. Um, I think I've been looking forward to this game. Um, the, the people are amazing. They received me with open arms, with cheers, um, and that's always nice to see. Like I said, when I was here, I gave it my all. Uh, I showed everything on the field, and um, when I parted away, it was nice to come back and actually have a proper goodbye to them. Uh, maybe not the best game to do it at, but um, we're, we're both fighting for points, and at the end of the day today, it was a hard game for both of us. When I step on the field, it doesn't matter if it's in training or in a game. Uh, I'm gonna go hard. Um, no one wants to injure no one. No one wants to play dirty. But like I said, when you're on the field, you try to defend as much as you can. You try to score goals. Um, we're, we might be friends outside the field, but when we're inside the field, it's competitive. I want to win. I want to go far. It's one of those days that you wish it was sunny and everybody could stay here. But um, the fans of stayed are amazing. The LA fans over here that traveled and. Experience some rain in Austin. The heat is is incredible, and then of course the Verdes is always they're always loud, and they showed how much they care about this team and this organization, and that's always nice to see. Hello, this is Richie, and welcome to the Por Favor. As you guys know, this podcast is about football, vida, and cultura, soccer, life, and culture. Uh, thank you for taking the opportunity to check out our content on whichever platform you prefer. Um, recently, we haven't really done much uh, talk about uh, soccer, especially Austin FC. And, and the reason being is because we hosted... Uh, guests that are that are not really as involved with soccer, so the the, the priority in, in those recordings is to highlight their stories, and this is a short rec recording to actually talk about soccer. Um, just more more so my perception of what I what I saw, and also to to talk about something that was that's pretty important. And I think I think um, in in Austin community, we're starting to get more of the ropes of what a team is. Um, as you guys know, Diego Fagundes returned to to Austin, um, but this time with a different jersey on. He was traded to LA Galaxy in late July, early August. It was a shocking trade. Um, so he he's 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 transferred, and and there was a uh, as we know there was a good uh, farewell with 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 him and and and, and some of the fans at, at the half squad, but. As you guys see in the beginning of this recording, uh, an interview that we had after the game, he pretty much, uh, his return in, in this particular, this game in particular, he was looking forward to it because it felt for him as a proper farewell, from, you know, from the fans. But also I think one one thing that he, he, he mentioned is it wasn't in the best, best circumstances as both teams are fighting for for a spot on playoffs, and it, it it's at the end of the day, uh, Diego. I'm pretty sure he has friends all over Austin and even in the club. But it's a competition, and and he has to be professional. He has to defend the team he's contracted with. At this point, is LA Galaxy. Well, at this moment, is LA Galaxy, and um, it, it it's it's uh it's one of those games where where. I'm pretty sure the friends he had in the field, there are friends outside of it, but in the field, it's 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 all it's game on. It's all competitive. So when you're in that situation, you, you have to you know you have to do what you can to help your team win. Uh, just as our uh, the the players in Austin are doing the best they can to help Austin win. We all know that. Um, and he he you know. You know, he said it was good for for the fans to stay. I know, I know there was a three hour delay, which we're gonna talk in a little bit. Um, but it, it was a, it's it's one of those that that you know, I I wanted to I want to give props to to people in Austin for for starting to get the 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 idea of what a team is and what players you know the role of certain players when they're 
playing for the team, but, but also when they go, but they still are part of Austin. They're still part of the community. Um, I I have an example of, of, of what I'm talking about right now is I'm a fan of America. Uh, and America in 2005, 2004, 2005, uh, they traded Cotón Blanco to Veracruz after a scuffle against Sao Caetano. Cotón Blanco comes and plays one game at the uh, at the Azteca, I believe, or he comes to play against uh, America um, in the following season when he got traded to Veracruz, and he received the uh, you know the, the the applause from the fans that that that's, that uh, somehow they 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 respect them they they you know they love the fact that he was a player for America, and. One thing that I notice here is how the 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 the, the, you know, the community here in Austin and at the stadium they got a chance to to cheer for Diego one more time. Um, I know some people might you know say, "Oh, it's you know it's it's, it's a trade and 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 it's part of the sport." I get it. I understand it. Trust me, I've seen it several times. But one where I'm trying to get to is. Um, I, it was an interesting moment for me because walking into the state to the field, I was about to go through the tunnel, and the LA Galaxy um, guys were waiting to step into the field. And as I'm looking up, Diego's right there, and he, you know, I, I say hi to him. And the funny thing is, as his teammates are walking into to to the field, they're getting booed by everybody. But then Diego comes and they start cheering him. It, it was it was a it was a pretty cool moment to to see from from behind. Uh, usually, some of those you see it from from up far or from above, but seeing it from behind, seeing the people's you know all the attention was on Diego, him walking in, um, and and that that for me it shows what you know how how much and I know there's a lot of things that you know we we sometimes don't agree with, we sometimes fight over you know because of results or you know because we want a coach to stay or go. Um, but this type of moment right here also, you know, make the, the, you know, our part of soccer, our part of having a team is being able to, to greet and, 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 um, I don't know if it's the right word, but like salute one of the players that you, you know, you, you have good memories for them or, you know, you think of as in a positive way to go out and, 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 and give them the proper, you know, uh, like saludo and, and and the proper greeting, uh, for for him it was uh like a you know a proper goodbye, but not in the best scenario. It was it was in a in a, in a weird circumstance because of uh, LA Galaxy and Austin FC. They're both playing for a spot in the playoffs, and it's all competition. It's it's all you know. They're both gonna do everything possible to to take you know, a point or take three points from, from especially in, in the scenario which this play, these teams are. Um, one other thing that I want to highlight is, you know, just the, the you know, like I, I, I you know, I, I want to say like shout out to everyone, you know, in the, in the South End that stayed and, and just went all out during the rain. Uh, that is what makes, for me, that is what makes the football cultura that is that is the 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 austin that i know that 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 you know maybe it's hard to to see whenever the results don't come but just doing that and and, and going out there and just you know having the, the bombos the trumpets the trombones the, the snares the capos and, and the people cheering and singing you know song after song and and actually also the rival team being impressive with the or the you know the work you guys are doing in this delay, I, th I think this right here brought some level of respect to you know to the people because you know no matter what you know the 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 like a lot of you guys how do you say yeah we might not agree with 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 the coach we might not agree with DFO we might not agree with certain decisions but but that's la muerte and you guys truly showed that you guys really. Uh, shoot and walk at the same time with just going at it and and going hard. So man, my props to you guys. Uh, I, I think that sometimes it's it's hard when there's a lot of noise. 
and when things are not going well, but just seeing that, you know, everybody, you know, people that I know that are friends of mine, I just walking around and doing a quick video, trying to highlight it and bring, you know, everything that was going on to, you know, to like in social media. So everybody else can see like, Hey, we're doing some good shit here. I think, I think this is something that, that, uh, the players, I'm, I'm pretty sure they felt they, they let the, the fans down because of the result, especially getting tied towards the end of the match. So everyone out there, it's not on you. Um, we don't know what's going to happen. You know, I, I, it's hard to predict what, you know, where the team's going to end and what's going to happen with, with, with players, coaches going forward. I trust they do the best judgment. Uh, there's certain things I don't think are going right. And, and, you know, I, I want to really just, uh, not talk much about the negative aspect of it, but just highlight the, the you know, the awesomeness that everyone has created here in Austin. Uh, you guys stepped up and, and I know the, the results are going to come that, you know, the, the championship is going to come, uh, a real cup besides Copa Tegas is going to come one day. And, and, um, we're going to celebrate it and it's going to be celebrated the way, you know, you guys deserve to have it. Um, I just want to say, just keep that shit up. Uh, keep it going because you're building memories and, and, you know, I don't know when, you know, the, the title comes, but when it comes, it, it's everything that you guys did in that moment, it's going to be worth it. Um, and also, uh, I, I did see Diego, and he was, you know, he was impressed of, of you guys. So, uh, I, no, and this is not like saying, oh, um, Diego's friend and this. And they're like, no, no, this is just like the what was going on. You had players from, from LA Galaxy taking videos of, of, of you guys or going, going at it. Uh, whenever you get the respect from the opposing team, that you know the the players like the opposing players that's you know that's meaningful that's that's a lot that's that's golden right there so um just just keep going at it uh i know i know that that um things will get better uh everything's gonna be better i don't know when decisions have to be do have to make have to be made eventually and i think uh whether a coach stays or goes, whether a sporting director stays or goes, whether a player stays or goes, you guys, are, you guys are here. Um, with with this, I just wrap up this quick recording and is you know want to say again thank you to everyone that that uh, checks out our episodes. Uh, this week I'm gonna drop Urban Heat, uh, the episode with Urban Heat. It was it was amazing, uh, and stay tuned for for what's to come. Uh, a couple of good lineups, uh, lineup of guests. They're gonna they're gonna be within the next couple of weeks that have confirmed. Um, so, yeah, uh, for me, everything that gets done is to highlight, you know, how how awesome the city is, even with a bunch of bullshit. So, se cuidan, se portan bien, y arriba la América.